Understanding how to live healthy, active lives means knowing the five components of health-related fitness. The five components of fitness are cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and of course, body composition. But don't worry, we'll get to them in a little bit. Knowing the five components of fitness is important because they're with us our whole lives. It's also important that we measure them because when we focus on our fitness, we need to know which component to improve or maintain. By working on cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and flexibility, we can maintain a healthy body composition. Staying healthy so that we can move for a lifetime is what it's all about. I'm going to show you guys some definitions and some movements so that we can move to learn. Let's get started. Cardiorespiratory endurance. To define this one, we have six movements. First movement, heart. Second, lungs. Third, oxygen. Fourth, working muscles. Number five, long. Last but not least, time. Here we go. Cardiorespiratory endurance is represented by Cardio Kid. The ability of the heart and lungs to provide oxygen to the working muscles for a long period of time. Cardiorespiratory endurance. Muscular strength. Five movements are going to define muscular strength. First movement, it's going to be muscle. Second movement, muscles. Third movement, push. Fourth, pull. And last, max. Muscular strength is represented by max. Here we go. The ability of a muscle or muscles to push or pull with maximal force. Muscular strength. Muscular endurance. There's going to be five movements to define muscular endurance. The first one is going to be muscles. Second, repeat a movement. Third, hold a position. Fourth, long. Last but not least, time. Muscular endurance is represented by Maddie. Here we go. The ability of the muscles to repeat a movement or hold a position for a long period of time. Muscular endurance. Flexibility. To define flexibility, we have three movements. First movement, muscles. Second movement, joint. Third movement, range of motion. Flexibility is represented by flexi. Here we go. The muscle's ability to move a joint through a full range of motion. Flexibility. Body composition. There's going to be three main movements to define it. The first one, relationship. The second one, fat mass. And last but not least, fat-free mass. Body composition is represented by BC. Here we go. The relationship between fat mass and fat-free mass. It's what makes up the body. Body composition. To begin, start with your feet together. Touch your left elbow to your right knee, and then right elbow to your left knee. Start off slow, touching opposite knee to opposite elbow, and as you feel more comfortable, increase the speed. Try to keep your back straight, lifting your knees up high to touch your opposite elbow. To begin, jump up and down with your feet. Next, spin your wrists around in a circle. Now, put them together. Jump and spin your wrists. Pretend like you're jumping over that imaginary jump rope. Keep going. Remember to breathe as you're jumping. You got it. To begin, lay flat on the ground with your hands underneath your shoulders and your fingers facing forward. Push or lift your body up off the ground. Drop down towards the ground without touching and push up. Down, up. 
down, up. Don't look up while you're doing your push-up. Look at the ground. If you need to use your knees, go ahead and lift your feet up off the ground. Down, up. Keep going. To begin, lift one arm to your shoulder and the other one to your hip. Switch, 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 switch. Remember to keep your upper arm or your humerus completely straight, alternating each hand from your shoulder to your hip. Now you got it. Keep your back straight, remember to breathe and you're only bending at your elbow. To begin, lean forward and try to touch your knees. If you can reach that far, go to your shins. If you can reach farther than that, grab the opposite elbow. Let your upper body hang. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs and in your lower back. If you can reach your toes or even the ground, go ahead and try. Remember, you're not trying to force the stretch. You just want to feel the stretch in your back and in the backs of your legs. To begin, start with a wide stance. Lean to the right. Push on that left leg. You should feel this on the inside of your thigh. And switch. Go ahead and lean to the left. Push down on your right leg. You should feel this on the inside of your right leg. Other side, go ahead and switch. Feel this on the inside of your left leg. Make sure you breathe through that stretch. All right, SMART is an acronym for successful goals. I wanna make sure you're set up to set a successful goal. In order to do that, we got a five-step process. Make it specific, make it measurable, make it attainable, make it realistic, and always make it timely. This five-step process is gonna set you up for success. Specific, I wanna improve my upper body strength. Uh, it's not that specific. How about I wanna increase the number of push-ups I can do? That's specific. Measurable, gotta plug in those numbers. I wanna do more push-ups. Great, how many more? I wanna do 20 more push-ups, that's measurable. We jump down to attainable. I want to increase my push-ups by 20. <laughs> I don't know if that's attainable though. How about 10? I can make that happen. I'm gonna increase the number of push-ups I can do by 10. That's attainable. That's something that I can be held responsible for. Jump down to realistic have to make it real. I want to increase my push-ups by 10, so I'm going to do push-ups every single day. I don't know if it's realistic. How about I'm going to work on my upper body strength three times a week, which is going to help improve my push-ups. That's realistic. Last but not least, timely. So I want to increase my push-ups by 10. But why? When? I need to know when I'm gonna stop, when I'm gonna actually make sure that I've set myself up for success and achieve my goal. It's been specific, it's been measurable, attainable, realistic, but the time, by March, I will increase my push-ups by 10. All right. I will increase my push-ups, that's specific, 
by 10, that's measurable. 10 is a good score, so that's attainable. Um, I'm gonna do those three times a week. I exercise, that's realistic, and I'm gonna have it done by March. That's timely. It's a pretty smart goal. Stay happy, stay healthy. Always keep that smile on. Let's go make some smart goals. Motor skills, locomotor, walk. There are four critical elements, the head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head faces forwards. The head is stable without bouncing. The facial muscles are relaxed and not tense. The upper body. The upper body maintains an upright posture. The arms swing gently back and forth. The lower body. The back leg will extend to push off the ground. The heel strikes the ground first. The back leg follows through. Rhythm. Walking should be relaxed and rhythmic. You should always have proper spacing. Walk. Sit with your legs out in front of you. Squeeze all your muscles as tight as you can. Now slowly release your muscles, one at a time. Release your toes, your legs, your bottom, your tummy, your arms, your face. Now smile. You can also perform this exercise while lying down on your back.